Next, we're going to use the concept of impedance to, to work with uh, one of the most powerful concepts uh, for quickly uh, dealing with electrical systems, and that's the idea of the voltage divider. Here we have two impedances in general, and we're interested in finding the uh, output uh, VO, and so that's just the voltage of the uh, second um, of the uh, junction between the two points. And of course, we can apply um, Kirchhoff's current law, and the current going through the first um, uh, impedance is just going to be equal to Z1, 1 over Z1 times E minus VO. The current going through the second one is 1 over Z2 times VO minus 0. We know that I1 is equal to I2 because uh, the total uh, current going into the junction is zero. And so we see that 1 over Z1 times E minus VO is equal to 1 over Z2 times VO. If we just collect the VO terms, we see that we have 1 over Z1 times E is equal to 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 times VO. If we actually tried to solve for VO, what we would end up finding is that VO is going to be equal to, well, first of all, let me just point out that this quantity is the same as Z1 plus Z2 over Z1 times Z2. So we just have to flip that over, and what we find is uh, VO is equal to Z2 over Z1 plus Z2 times E. Now, it's not important for you uh, to uh, derive this equation every time you see it so much as to recognize the voltage divider. So anytime you have a system where uh, you have two voltages of interest and you have two elements in series, you can apply this element law. So again, I'm just going to write this out again. We have two elements, Z1 and Z2. We're interested in this voltage, and anytime you see this, you, sh you can immediately write VO is equal to Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2 times quantity E. Here's an example where we want to find the voltage across a capacitor, uh, where uh, that we have a resistor and a capacitor in series. And if we use the voltage divider formula, uh, our Z1 would just be equal to R, and then Z2 would be equal to 1 over Cs. And if you recall, the voltage divider formula was VO is equal to Z2 over Z1 plus Z2 times E, where Z2 is just 1 over Cs. So we end up with 1 over Cs divided by R plus 1 over Cs times E. Uh, we can actually rewrite this uh, by multiplying, uh, I guess both sides will multiply by R plus 1 over Cs. So we end up with R plus 1 over Cs times VO is equal to 1 over Cs times E. And then um, just to turn this into a differential equation, let's multiply both sides by Cs. So then we have RCs plus 1 times VO is equal to E. Or this is just RC times VO dot plus VO is equal to E. And we've seen this differential equation before, except this time we derived it using the voltage divider.